Labar mar marauding. Uh, GX. Wait, how do I rest? What's that do? Oh, that's the... Like, full map. Is there a way of, like, resting? I don't know what that is. Wait, what's this, uh... Journal? Options? Oh. That just brings up that. That's pointless, then. Character sheet. And well, what's this? Inventory. Okay. Well, I want to go on the map, but I can't remember how I meditate. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. Wait, maybe not, but if I just do this... So, confirm, back, previous page, page, map, panning, list, scrolling, navigation. Oh. Okay. Maybe I don't know. I thought there was a way of just, like, uh, meditating on the map or something. What if I press, like, X? Or, wait, B, no, square. Uh, square. <laughs> How do I meditate? Ah, oh, balls. Oh well. Much of its stock has also been looted. Or despoiled by these unwelcome invaders. A map of Rockstan and the surrounding mountainous area hangs on the so so blackened wall. This mining village is built on a plateau of rock overlooking the sunken forest. The entrance to its famous Bronin Mines is located in the southeast part of the crater-like wall of rock that surrounds and contains the wooden depression. You suspect that Bronin may be the reason why the Geeks have attacked Rockstar in force. You search through the debris that covers the floor, but there is little of value to be found. You are about to stop your search and leave the star when behind, or uh, when behind the star's counter you discover some Something that sparks your curiosity. It is a large wooden chest, and it is locked. Oh yay, we get an event where we try and open chests. There's quite a few of these kind of things. It's cool that it actually like loads it in and stuff. Now we get to try and p pick its lock. To open the lock, you must find the right position for the pick. You can rotate... You can rotate the pick moving the left stick to the left or to the right. The pick will rotate around the lock. Right, okay. When you position the pick, you can try and force the lock with the knife. You can force the lock with the knife by moving the right stick to the left. You can't force with the knife while you are moving the pick. When forced, the lock will start rotating. Depending on the pick position, the lock will rotate more or less. When you find the right position for the pick, force with the knife and lock will open. If the pick is not in the right position and you force the lock, the pick will start losing durability. If you force too much, the pick, the pick will break. You can decide to give up at any time by pressing the back command. Oh. Okay, it makes the same noise regardless. Oh. Uh, so it's either it's got to be between those two then. Fuck. I want to do it slowly, but not. Fuck. God damn it. Ah, oh, balls. <laughs> right, so it's not there. It's further this way, I think. No, it isn't. God, I hate this. It's just like Skyrim, <laughs> except harder. <laughs> oh my god, really? It's like right there. On Skyrim, it actually gave you like a, a hint as to how close you were. This, not so much. Oh my god, really? Fuck me. <sighs> oh my god, really? Come on. Oh my god. Pretty sure I got further when it was over here. Oh my god, really? What the fuck is this lock? 
<laughs> I'll just use all my picks, I don't care. I'm not even getting there anymore. There we go. Fucking my god. Phew. That's a lot harder than Skyrim. <laughs> wow. I don't give you any sort of hints. You managed to pick the lock and now the container lies open in front of you. You look inside and find some valuable items that could prove useful. Please give me three lock picks. <laughs> Whoa, I got throwing knives, leather, suspicious... Wow, some bread. Fucking Jesus. Knives, a lomps, a potion, leather, superior leather, and Lanuma bread. Ooh, very nice. When you leave the store and return to the main street, a gust of icy wind bites into the exposed flesh of your face, and the <coughs> sudden chill makes you shiver. The winter sun is completely obscured by thick grey clouds, yet you are able to tell the time of day without its helpful presence. It is nearly midday. Oh, there we go, we get a chance to meditate. There you are. I thought I could just meditate whenever I fucking felt like it, but that is not the case. Meditation. You don't sense immediate danger, this is a safe place for meditate. For meditate. I was going to say for meditation, but whatever. Ah. Hum. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! I want to look at my character sheet. There must be a way of upgrading the character, because I know there was in the books. Sounds weird, but the game, like the books are impressive. What's that? Lone Wolf. Okay. Summer Sword. Kai Disciplines. Melee Techniques. Lone Wolf. Oh. Oh, I get to have a look at him. That's cool. Very nice. I don't know why, but he reminds me a lot of the guy from Thief. I think it's purely because of the, the hood. He does look a teeny, teeny bit like him. Only a tiny bit, though. Nothing, imp uh, nothing too much. Right, so I rested up. All's are good. What's that? What's that? I don't know. Axe Mastery. When you have attained an advanced proficiency with axes, with an axe as your main weapon, you will have a greater chance to cause hemorrhage when you hit an enemy. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. Very nice. My damage is 400 to 500. Not bad. Can I find out how much of these consume? Oh, 500 endurance for that. Wow, 700 to 1, 1,000. That's why that costs so much. Oh, right, I can just hover over it. That's cool. Alright, anyway. Uh, let's go back to the, the map, shall we? Right, I want to go to the map. I mean, I could have it on anything. Oh, right, if I want to continue, I have to go here. Would you like to write your story here? Yep. Write my story from there. You follow the main street, tense and alert, ever watchful for signs of human life and geek raiders. Suddenly the door of a nearby building is thrown open into and into the street, pour a gang of geeks. Geeks, geeks, I'm gonna call them everything. Growling and waving their black bladed weapons above their loathsome heads. We're gonna have to fight. Oh wait, hang on. You steal yourself for imminent combat, but your concentration is broken when you glimpse a human is among their number. It is a girl, in her late teens, with short dark hair and sharp sparkling eyes. Judging, judging from her appearance and her clothing, she does not look like a typical Rockstown villager. You just make your choice. Oh dear. You feel compelled to intervene, you'll fight the gang in the open. You don't master this discipline. You'll take the advantage of the confusion to observe the girl. You'll launch a mind blast Ah! Launch a mind blast attack. This is gonna cost me some Kai discipline, but I have plenty, so it's fine. You concentrate. You are now focused. Oh wait. Fuck! Didn't realize what I had to do. The actors are so preoccupied with the girl that they fail to see you standing openly in the street nearby. Quickly, you s seize the advantage and launch, launch a psychic attack ab upon this closely grouped gang of... Enemies. The searing effect of your mind blast makes the gag shriek with pain. You glance towards the girl and see that she has stopped momentarily. For a fleeting second, your eyes meet. In the blink of an eye, 
She unholsters a small crossbow from beneath, beneath her cloak. It is unlike any crossbow you have ever seen before. Oh, no, 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 we're not fighting, bitch. Where's she? Whoa. Ooh, hello. Hey. Wow, she looks interesting. She levels the strange cross crossbow at one of the, at one of the geeks and sends a steel bolt straight between the creature's hateful eyes. She fires again and another geek falls dead, then another. The crossbow is reloading itself as fast as she can fire it. Quickly, she holsters her weapon and sprints across the street toward the cover and safety of an undamaged house on the far side. Your instinct is to follow her, for she is the first living human you have encountered so far. There are many questions you would like to ask her, unfortunately. The break in your concentration gives the Geax some reprieve from your psychic attack, and now their shrieks of pain have turned to cries of anger. You raise your weapon and rush towards them, eager to slay them all before they can fully recover from the effects of your Kai Mind Blast. Aha! So they'll be dazed. Or stunned, or something. Slightly injured, currently. How much did that take up, though? 300? Maybe? I have no idea. There's two of them again. Hooray! Right, that costs 700. Oh, yeah, they've got... They're missing some health. That costs five. That's seven. And that's probably like 850 or some much shit. Yep. Oh, that only did 378. Fuck. Bugger. I'll switch to that one. I don't have enough. So I'll just do a heavy. That'll be enough to kill it, actually. Yeah, there we go. Aha! Woohoo! Oh, that's still not enough. Are you shitting me? Oh yeah, the Somers word. We've not done this before. This holy weapon grants you the ability of performing devastating fighting techniques because it because of its magical origin. In order to wield wield it, you will need Kai power instead of endurance. A single cooldown is shared by all Summer Sword Summer Sword attacks. Oh, it's his attack. That's fine. That's fine. Bwah, bwah, bwah. Yay! My turn. Very good. We'll just do a, a quick attack. Yep. Peace, my fucker. Oh, no. Nice. Another one. Hang on. There we go. I have enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shit. Up. Oh, fuck. Oh, nice. We killed it with the Somers word. Yeah. Awesome. That used up all my endurance. My god. You are too tired to carry on. I think you can eat stuff like bread to recover endurance if you need it. Maybe. That's what I'm thinking. There we are. And I got throwing knives, iron, ooh, Asperan, and Flora Fungi Potion. I have a sword, so I could equip a sword now. The girl is nowhere to be seen. You focus your gaze on the house opposite and detect fresh tracks leading towards the front door of the largest house. It has escaped the fire that has ravaged much of this area, and, you, and clearly you can read the ornate sign fixed above the door. Redallion the Inventor. Stealthily, you approach the front door and twist its iron handle. It is locked. Ah, oh, balls. Please don't say I have to pick it. Pick the bloody lock. Hang on. Inventory. Yeah, go to my inventory. I've never been in this before. There we go. It shows what I'm, I've got equipped. The inventory lets you change your equipment and arrange the items you will, ac you will access from your belt in combat. To equip items or move them from your bags, in your bags, just keep... The confirm command pressed and release it over the highlighted spot. Okay. So what's this? Restores hunt. Wow, that restores a shitload of stuff. What about the bread? I found some bread. Oh, I got a finest leather, leather pouch. So that's my backpack. Oh, here we go. Oh, that restores Kai power. That's poop. Used by merchants to upgrade weapons, armor, and bags. That could be useful. 240 to 300. Hmm. Oh, that's 50. And that's my regular armor. Okay. Oh, wait, I don't have anything for up here. Alright, cool. 
Very nice. Interesting. Wow, there's so much to this. Fucking hell. Way more than I was thinking. What the heck? <laughs>